Hey guys, it's me, Vanellope, and I'm here for the very first Fiction Friday. And I know I haven't posted in like three weeks, and I could make up a bunch of crap reasons why I haven't been filming, like, you know, I've been busy, or I've been just random, it, you know what, it really doesn't matter. Um, anyway, instead I'm just can I go on to the next thing? So first of all, yeah, I know the lighting is crap. Like, not now, but probably when I aim it at my face or whatever. So, anyway... <coughs> Moving on to the next thing, I'm thinking about making a second channel where I do more, like, random and funny stuff. Like, this is really a more serious channel for me to be real and kind of be myself. But I've been thinking about putting up another, you know, Smosh, Ray William Johnson, something like that style thingy. Like, not the same thing. I don't want to steal from them or whatever, but, you know, same kind of deal. Uh, I just want to know what your guys' thoughts on that is. Of course, I don't know if there's any point in asking since you guys never comment on my movies. But I do want to thank the guy who um, commented on my intro for Max Mofo's Mail Time. Not me. I did, I, I did put a comment down there, but the guy who commented, even though he just... Even though he just created a picture of a dick out of letters or something and sent it to the... Anyway... I'm just, like, rambling or whatever, and yeah. <clears throat> I haven't posted in, like, three weeks, and the lighting is crap, and I'm, my voice is probably not so good either. And yeah, I'm still... There's... Yeah. There's... Yeah. Just a lot of stuff going on, and, you know, with my boyfriend. Uh, Yeah. Anyway, you guys are probably wondering about the 13 Days of Horror, because I said it was going to start on the 19th. But then I got really busy, so I've decided the first day of the 13 Days of Horror is, is going to be on Halloween. Originally, that was going to be the last day, but anyway, whatever. Uh, now I should probably stop rambling and read you guys this fucking book, since that's supposed to be the point of all this. Yes, it's the very first Fiction Friday. I said I was going to do this like a couple of months ago, or like a month ago or something, and I still haven't done it, and I keep, and I keep saying to myself, I'm going to do it next week, I'm going to do it next week. Now, finally, it's this week. It's the week, it's the week when I'm going to do it. Um... So, I was looking for a fanfiction to kind of read to you guys, and I found this. It's kind of a smosh fanfiction. It's, it's Ian and Anthony, which is like 99% of the smosh, the smosh fanfictions. But anyway, I'm going to um, read this and see, because I just want to know what it's like. I also started writing my own smosh fanfiction that isn't... That isn't gay. That isn't gay. Not that. There, not that I have any problems with gays. I think. I think gay love is beautiful. I don't want there to be any, you know, comments in the thing or whatever. But yeah. So not that I have a problem with gays, but I mean, anyway, um, that's just the way I write. Like, yeah, you guys probably think I'm sexist now or something. But anyway. Uh, moving on from that, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and read you guys this book now. So, it's called Just a Joke, uh, and with like a question mark or something on the end. Hang on, I'll hold it to the computer so that you guys can s There you go. Alright. Part 1. Something was wrong. They had finished recordings today and spent the rest of the evening at home, chilling. But Ian knew his best friend, and he recognized that Anthony was acting way from usual today. Should he leave his best friend alone with his thoughts, or ask if he needs someone to talk to? <coughs> Anthony was just sitting on his double bed and stared at the empty side, the side which was always cold. Pikachu glanced straight at the closed door from its corner, where he released it when he needs someone or even something to hug in a lonely night. 
What Anthony was missing was obvious, but only hell knows the reason why. What? Only hell knows the reason why. He had no girlfriend. Ian either. Did they do something wrong? They have so many fans all around the globe, getting love letters from countries they will never visit in their life. But here in California, he was unable to find someone who fitted him, who gave him what he needed and was not a hyperventilating fangirl. In these situations, Anthony wished he wasn't that famous. He had to talk to Ian. He was his best friend and he had to tell him what was going on with him. They worked together, were doing silly things, and had to work on all the scripts for the videos. If he wouldn't talk to Ian, the work wouldn't be that good anymore. They trust each other and had an unspoken agreement to talk about any, everything that's bothering one of them, no matter how embarrassing, silly, or private it was. They lived together under one roof. Sure, both of them had their own privacy, but sometimes it was necessary to talk even about that. Some hours ago, they agreed to watch a film after work, so Anthony should go into the living room and join Ian on the couch already. This is a little off from normal English. It's so it's still a good story, but um, it's just sometimes it's hard to really read. Sometimes I'm not sure exactly what you're saying. The person who wrote this. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> anyway. Hey, man. Ian welcomed Anthony. Hey, he said, and fell on the couch next to his best friend. You were acting a little weird today. Is something wrong? That's why I have to talk to you. Sure, what's up? Anthony hesitated a little, but then he started talking. I love our job and what we are doing, but I'm also missing something, and I'm sure you know exactly what I mean. Their eyes locked, and he saw that Ian did really know what he was thinking. We have no girlfriends, Anthony said. Yes, that's right. Why are we incapable of finding a girl? I think we're too busy to go on searching, Ian said with his blue eyes back on the TV screen. That's sad, isn't it? We have so many fans getting love letters from all around the world. Forget the fangirls. They're just loving the Anthony on air, but they don't know the Anthony behind the scenes. The tired one and the Anthony in the morning, or when also you have a bad day. What if I meet one and she has the chance to get to know the whole Anthony Padilla? Don't do this, man. Ian shacked his head in attention. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what you're trying to say there. Shocked? Sh shook? Shaked? Okay, I'm in a, sorry, okay, I'm trying to figure this out. Don't do this, man. Ian shacked his head in, okay, I, not attention, addition. Sorry, guys, it's addition, not attention. Okay, I'm trying, yeah. Sometimes this is hard. Why not? Anthony took the zapper from the TV table and paused the DVD. Ian turned his body to his friend's side, fixed the brown eyes with his blue ones before he began to speak. What are you exactly missing? I thought you were happy living with me in our own house, working with me. Is it sex? I am happy. Of course I miss sex, but it's not the main thing I'm missing. Then, Ian waited for an answer. He knew he was Anthony putting under pressure, but if he wouldn't, his friend would never say everything he wanted to say and continued with acting strange. Okay then. I miss the hugs, kissing, not being alone in the king-sized bed, a warm body beside me, just to have someone in a cold night. I know what you mean. Anthony didn't say any more words. All he had to say was being said. After some seconds, the both, the both staring at the paused film lost in thoughts, Ian took the zapper out of his best friend's hand and continued watching the DVD. Well, I'm not a girl and can't give you sex, but... Ian began and put one, one arm around Anthony, put their bodies closer together. What are you doing? Anthony hissed. I have a warm body. You can talk to me about everything and I have arms to hug, Ian explained. Sorry, man, but I can't give you more than that. The blue eyes fixed the brown again. A soft smile laid on his lips. I also could sleep in your bed, but I think this would be a little bit too awkward. Anthony saw the glowing grin on Ian's face and stopped defending against the gentle hug. 
They continued watching the film, and Anthony couldn't deny that Ian's warmth felt really good, sitting on the couch wrapped in blankets. It was an action film, a lot of explosions, shooting, and blood. But there were always these unnecessary love stories in the plot. I hate these love stories in action films. They destroy the whole tension. She is only a sweet chick for the eye, has to get saved the whole time. Anthony commended the woman, which was the hero's girlfriend. Maybe a good idea for our next video, Ian agreed. And then the passionate kiss in the end. If we watch, she's not frustrated enough. Wait a sec. You were very critical today. I said wait. You didn't say anything about kissing. The brown eyes looked wide open at the person, which she was so close to. Which arm was still wrapped around his shoulders. Nope, I didn't. Ian didn't deny. Anthony released the hug and stared at his best friend. Are you saying that you would kiss me? Ian only shrugged his shoulders. Girls doing this either. I think there is nothing bad about kissing one's buddy if both would feel better. Alrighty then. Sorry, I'm just trying to analyze the... Um, yeah, I'm trying to analyze the story to figure out, and now I forgot what it was. Hold on. <coughs> so it would also be okay to sleep with your buddy, if both would feel better? Anthony asked, a little bit confused of, of his best friend's offer. No, I wouldn't sleep with you, Ian said calm, calmly, pinching Anthony with his blue eyes with his blue eyes. Should I calm down now? Yes. Anthony took some deep breaths before he asked again. So you think you could kiss me? Yes, I do. Why should I let you? Anthony found back to his self-confidence. On air, we are often touching. Our cheeks, chest, or nipples. I'm sure I've touched every part of your body except your lips and neither re ne nether regions. Oh wait, no. In one video, I kicked your balls. <laughs> Ian saw the pink color which flushed Ant Anthony's cheeks when he was embarrassed or laughed too much. He knew without the ability of mind reading, his best friend was thinking about his offer of kissing him. So you... Anthony began, but before he was able to finish his sentence, Ian came closer and was getting above him. If you would like to try, you only have to say it. Ian's voice was deep, turning the cheeks of his best friend even more pink. No, I don't want it, Anthony explained, but Ian moved a little bit closer so that their faces were only some inches apart. Really? That sounds not very confident to me, Ian grinned. Anthony tried to say no again, but he was fixed by the blue eyes of his best friend, and their faces were physically closer than normal. Than normal. <coughs> For a moment, he lost balance and tried, and felt with his back to the couch. Excuse me. Just ate dinner. Grabbing for stability, he was finding his hand clutching into Ian's t-shirt on his backside. After he saw in the blue eyes again, only lighted by the lamp beside the couch, he wasn't able to say no anymore. <coughs> He felt Ian's warm breath on his face, the other, the, the other body above his own. Oh, okay, he whispered. What? Ian asked loudly. Damn, kiss me. Neither a second later, Anthony felt warm, soft lips against his own, felt the tender touch, the sweet acceptance and the warmth, which spread in all directions in his belly. He closed his eyes. After moments of enjoying the dim, gentle touch of their lips, Ian moved backwards and ended the brief but intense kiss. Wasn't that bad, was it? Was it? He asked with a satisfied grin. No, Anthony said with a steamed voice, and Ian moved a little away from him. They didn't say anything, were only looking at each other and felt the heart of their lips after they separated. The moment found his end when Ian stood up. It's end, I think she meant to say. Or he. Don't want to call you just the wrong gender there. See you tomorrow. Good night.
He left Anthony on the couch and disappeared into his own bedroom. So there you go, chapter one. Um, I might also post chapter two tonight, we'll see. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna post and, yeah. Alright. And if not, if I don't post the second chapter tonight, we'll try and do it next Friday. Wait, next Friday is going to be part of the 13 Days of Horror, so we'll be reading a horror story instead. I'll figure it out. Um, and the next Fiction Friday, that's after the 13 Days of Horror. Bye.